What's up, A1A fam? Today, this episode is going to be brought to you by this derpy hairless dog, Leo. Because if you've seen the past several videos posted prior to this one, you've seen that this anemone went through hell and back getting stuck in the filter. And yes, I'm sure I'm going to see a bunch of comments that unfortunately we already way past that we already did. By now, you're probably already seeing this video with the filter sponge already on it. It's been there for several days. It's already dirty. Now we are going to make an adventure with our hairless dog to the pet store, and we are going to clean this tank out. We are going to move this anemone into an entirely different tank, and we are going to have a new animal in this tank. So stay tuned for all the adventures ahead. With this hairless derpy dog right here. Who loves his fish? Welcome if it's your first time here. If it's not, I'm sure you're aware of it familiar with our coral tank that we have. However, today we're gonna to be doing something different, especially with this crawfish that we got from Wild World of Farley. So stay tuned because we have a bunch of new animal adventures today here at A1A Adventures. Watch the entire thing. I don't know, Leo, how do you think this anemone is gonna be? So Leo is probably gonna save this anemone with the collaboration of local law enforcement and Aqua Queen. But Baby Yoda, just like every other adventure, this adventure is just gonna be as fun. Puppuccino time, that's right. We can't operate this operation without the proper ingredients. Thanks, Starbucks. Not sponsored. Good boy, get in your bag, get in your bag. That's a good boy. Mm. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that little guy. Mm. Look at it. Dude. It's in a sponge. Look at that little face. Oh, there's another one. There's two of them. Okay, okay, sir. Here, let me move your seat up. We got all the goodies to change around these tanks and bring this anemone to salvation. Because I tell you what, Leo, we got to save this anemone. We got to keep going. Come on. Come on. Get out of your back. Get out of your back. Like a good boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. The last two, yes, we are back home. I'm just as excited because these were very heavy and we're finally back home. And before we get started, of course, here's a little treat for you and yours. Oh, you thought I was gonna do it. You thought I was gonna do it. You thought I was, ready, set. Hmm, let's get started. Here, and you get one too, enjoy. And just to give you an idea of what we're doing before we do it, we are going to take this crawfish out of this tank and we're putting him in this baby. Except literally transforming both tanks and swapping everything from one tank to another. No, he will not be in a saltwater tank. These clownfish and the anemone will be in its tank, which is double the size of this tank here. Plus with a heater and a couple extra goodies. Stay tuned for the full video. So let's start with cut the flow out of the aerator hose. And now let's add just a little bit of the new fresh water. I'm gonna drain all of his water into there to keep all that good bacteria going. And now for the actual crawl. <gasps> you can hide, but not for long. Come here, swim backwards. Oh my goodness. Hop in, hop in, hop in, hop in, hop in, hop in. I grab you, except I'm filming this at the same time. We do have the other video with both crawfish when we were doing a gender reveal. That's a nice video. I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video. But until then, just hang out for a few and let's get your new home ready. Nice and empty, gonna clean all this out. Hanging tight in there. Let's go. Clean and pristine and ready to install. Okay, so we got some Argonite over here and we got a wave maker going and we have a submersible pump. Just gonna have to rinse everything off and get it going. And a heater. This is the fun part. You just put a couple holes here, a couple holes there and Cut the top. We're gonna fill this up, rinse this out. Ooh, there we go. And then we're gonna rinse it with salt water just before we put it in the tank. Look at that, how satisfying is that? Only have to rinse it for less than a minute and when it runs clear, you're good to go. Now, we're dumping the salt water in. Not too much, you don't wanna waste too much, but just to get most of the chlorine out, and that's it. Keep in mind, if you're doing Argonite like we are and not traditional gravel, don't rinse it too much because you don't want to eliminate all the natural minerals in this bad boy. All right, and so we're gonna add about half of the bag into here. Ooh, those fine shells. Smooth it out. Gonna put these two pieces back so we don't have an anemone getting stuck through the grid again. When we install the heater, we're also gonna place it on this side with the pump. So if the anemone chooses to gravitate towards the heat, it will be away from the intake portion of the sump. We have our beautiful pieces of not live rock. This is just kind of man-made coral rock, but these are the smallest they had, and we have live rock 
elsewhere. So this will do for what we need it for now. All right, and for the other piece. Alrighty, so we got the submersible pump from the coral tank before, which we're going to replace with a wave maker, which aren't necessarily an enemy safe, or else we'd be using it in this tank. Now we have the lovely submersible heating pad. Let's get it. Now to insert the filter goodies, and then we have to take all of the rock out of the anemone and clownfish's tank to add to this live rock right here. Oh, and I forgot, yes, the clownfish, of course, will be in this tank as well. Okay, so we took all of the rocks out now. I've drained just enough water out of this tank that I can take the little anemone and we're gonna bring it to salvation. So we gotta take this anemone out. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this little bit of water that it's used to, all the parameters of this water. And we're gonna go ahead. Oh, look at you. I know, I know. You've had way better weeks and better days. We're gonna get you to a nice bigger tank. Everything's gonna be beautiful. Just you wait and see, Mr. Anemone. After this week, this hellish week, you're getting stuck. We have such a new awesome mansion for you, just wait. Since you are acclimating, I'm gonna have to make sure you get it too. Okay, so now we're gonna add the rocks. And now I also, oh, there's a crab! There's a baby crab in there, oh goodness. Maybe that was the, that can't be the clicking. I know there's clicking on this rock because ever since we got this piece of rock, just like when we found our baby mantis shrimp, there has been clicking over and over all night I hear. So you never know, future videos to come, there could be a surprise that we find on this rock because I know for sure we've had this rock now for about a month and there has been something growing in here. So that's why it's important to stay subscribed, hit that notification bell button because when we find it, don't you want to be the first to see it? Okay, so we know for a fact this is not what has been clicking, but this is a cool find. This is only just one of many finds on live rock as we're used to. Let's add this little guy to the tank. And a baby starfish. Look at that. Oh, let me see if I can zoom in. Oh, look at how tiny that baby star is. I got these little guys in here. There's the crab. Where's the star? Oh, the star is right next to him. See it? These are so tiny. So I'm, I didn't want to dump them in because obviously that's going to be traumatic. I'd probably kill them. So let's go ahead and lightly put them in quick now. Okay. Yes, time is of the essence. And we're getting there, I promise. Now for the fish. So we have some of their water in here. Once again, we're transferring all this water to the new tank so it has all that good bacteria that all these animals are used to. AJ is going to hunt these little clownfish down. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get them. One down. One down. Next one, beautiful. And we think that this one's probably the male. The darker one is going to be the mama to be, hopefully soon enough. So we're getting what now? What do you see? Snails. Oh, the snails. There's a snail munching on lobster. Where? In the back. Oh, I see him right front and center in the middle. Let's get him. So along with the start of the tank with the snail in this water, we're going to go ahead and add it into this tank. Two baby snails. And boom, just turned on the light. It actually had all my settings still saved, so we are in action. We gotta keep this moving. We gotta acclimate both the anemone and the baby clowns. Drip acclimation number one and number two. Acclimating, dripping, about to drip as we speak. Let's go. Now the current step is to let everything settle. Oh, look, the little snails are even already running around and cleaning things. So we're gonna let everything settle, and then we're gonna dump everything into the tank. So let's go ahead and kick this baby on. Well, we have a whole new potential crawfish tank standing right in front of us right now. Gravel, you can put it with your hands. Grab the gravel, adding to this tank right here. Now this might sound sad and depressing, but we will not be adding a light to this tank because it's too good of a dang light and it grows too much algae. So no light, I'm sorry. So much of changes because this won't even fit. This old cave won't even fit. And this other one we have looks really nice. This one just about fits. It'll never be able to walk into the cave. Look, I'm gonna have to sacrifice. And no, not like that worm. I mean, part of your home. Now this craw is gonna have a beautiful pot. We'll be able to kind of get in and out of, and that'll have to do. All right, Mr. Craw, it's time. Let's go. We're doing water. All right, it is time. AJ is gonna get the crawfish. 
We actually picked it up in the last video. Like I'm saying, we were, we were like, we were on point. We were ready and courageous as, as anything. But now we're just trying to get this done. We're doing two tanks at once. This is insane. Let's go. All right. And there you have it, folks. A simple yet effective crawfish tank right before your eyes. You can do it yourself, I promise. Back to the saltwater tank. It's been a long time coming, and I think you deserve to have your new home. Please do well. I know you're not doing too good, but in this new tank, I hope everything, hope everything is just exactly the way you need it. Just one of those things, I hope. And good luck, my jelly gooey friend. As we'll be utilizing the remaining water, it's time for the fishy as well. All right, fishies. And you go enjoy. And we'll see you next when this clears back up. So, sir, do you feel confident that you saved this anemone and you did everything in your power in which to keep this anemone alive in its new tank, do you? That looks confident to me. That looks confident. And with only 24 hours later, everything cleared up absolutely beautiful. However, this isn't the best hour to show the anemone to you. It has made its way throughout the whole entire tank, studying all the different crevices, seeing the different strengths of the different par zones with lighting, and now also loving the heating element in the back and getting close to it. It has seen better days, yes, but it has a journey ahead of it that I know and I'm confident that this anemone will thrive in its new aquarium. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. To all of our A1A fam out there, thank you. Like this video, subscribe to this channel for the sake of this anemone and the derpy, hairless dog that made this adventure happen just for you. That's a good boy. And whether you like him or not, hit that notification bell button so you'll see more aquatics and more derpy dog adventures. A one A adventures. And if you can also kindly click on this video right here, or this video right here, or subscribe to this channel, or do all three. Thank you.